Welcome back to another mod showcase. Did you guys like the new intro? No? Ah, uh, it's okay. My feelings aren't that hurt. This video is about the grappling hook mod, which is one of my, my favorite mods currently. It's used for traveling long distances and, and just traveling really fast in a very fun way and with very cheap materials. And I can't really test it out in my lab because there isn't really that much space for me to really test out long distance travel with a grappling hook. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to find a place that's a little bit more out in the open that has a, something that I can grapple onto and some, some places I can swing around. So I'm gonna find a place that I, that's more suitable for that. Okay, we are now in the middle of a city that is completely abandoned with the exception of this one pig for some reason. Anyway, let's just get straight to the fun part. So these are all the grappling hooks that you can craft in the grappling hook mod. And this is the the easiest one to craft, the, just the simple grappling hook with just one iron pickaxe and one lead and you get the grappling hook. So the grappling hook is just basic. You can right click and shoot a hook and it just, it, it just shoots a hook, basic grappling hook, but it can also, if you shoot it at something that's above you, you can hold shift and W and kind of climb up to it. And also you can hold shift and S to climb down. Anyway, this is the second grappling hook that you can craft, the motorized grappling hook. And it's crafted with one grappling hook and one motorized grappling hook upgrade. We'll get to that item in a minute. And this grappling hook is slightly different than this grappling hook. And these are a pretty good combo if you want to do some fast traveling. So it, the motor grappling hook just pulls you directly to it. So I'm going to shoot it and it's going to pull me directly to it. And I'm going to see if I can swing with this grappling hook. So here we go. And now I'm in the air. Okay. So. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Just kind of for, just purge that from your memory. That did not happen. Cut the video. Cut. Okay, swinging with the grappling hooks. Take one, because this is the first take. And go. And I'm in the air. Okay, swinging with the grappling hook. Take one. All right, here we go. All right, I cannot get in the air. Okay, just keep going up. Okay. And I think... All right, as long as I don't mess this up, I'm doing it. But as you can see, check out the... As you can see, this mod has pretty good swing physics. Like, it, it, it's moving pretty realistically. The, the swinging, anyway. And just look at this. I'm swinging just like Spider-Man, and it looks cool. But it's, it's not as exhilarating because I'm not using one of the other hooks that I would say is my personal favorite. The other hook in this mod that I would say is one of my personal favorites is the rocket hook, which is crafted by one grappling hook and one rocket grappling hook upgrade. I'll get to that in a little bit once we're done with this hook. This grappling hook basically behaves the same as the standard grappling hook, except when you hold left click, you'll get a little rocket boost. And this rocket boost you can use to either give yourself momentum while swinging or to give yourself a little bit of air, which I'm going to do right here. In order to use the rocket, you just hold left click and look in the direction you want to go. So here. And now I'm in the air. So now I can swing and I can use it and I'll get a little of momentum. And you can see on the, the middle-ish of the screen, you can see how much fuel I have for the rocket. And I'm just using it periodically as I get it so I get a little, a little bit of momentum. And it is a pretty cool grappling hook. So I'd say these three grappling hooks are the more commonly and used and more useful out of the grappling hooks. So I'm going to show you guys the crafting recipes for all the stuff before getting to the more fancy grappling hooks. So the basic core of all the, the grappling hooks in this mod, or customization anyway, is the grappling hook modifier. And to craft the grappling hook modifier, you need four base grappling hook upgrades and one anvil. To craft a basic a base grappling hook upgrade, you need three gold ingots and two string. And it's very easy, you can get it very early game. So you can get the grappling hook modifier and place it down, and you can right click and see all these different modifications you can use, 
get for your grappling hooks. But as you can see, the upgrades don't really mean anything because you haven't added the upgrades themselves to the modifier. So it, all these show up as locked. And to unlock these, you need to put the upgrade items into the, in the actual block. So all the actual upgrade items are right here. All of these upgrades will change the grappling hook in a, a small way or a big way, depending on which one it is. And I'm just going to go ahead and add all of these to the modifier, and I'll get to what these do in a minute. But the recipes are, they're, they're fairly simple. Like, they're, they're not too complicated, and you can get them very early in for the most part. Occasionally, there are some that are, are a little bit more complicated, like the Ender Staff, which is one Ender Pearl and one Piston. And I'm just going to go ahead and add every single one of these to the Grappling Hook modifier. And now that they're all in, I can right-click... Now that I'm in here, I actually have the option to change certain things. But now that I, I have this all done, I'm going to get to more of the, the fancy grappling hooks. But there's also another big feature that this thing has. When you're swinging around, you have a tendency to fall and almost die on accident most of the time. In fact, I, I feel like most of the deaths in a survival game would be because of, of just dying randomly because of using a grappling hook and being dumb. So one of the items that would make this a lot easier is long fall boots. In order to get long fall boots, you're going to need diamond boots with feather falling four, and you're going to need to right click a, a grappling hook modifier to get long fall boots. So now I have long fall boots and these will completely cancel any type of fall damage. So I'm going to go ahead and use this just to test. So I'm going to grapple way up into the sky and I'm going to jump off and hit the ground and I did not take any fall damage. The other grappling hooks that are in the mod, which this this is the only other useful one I'd say and other, that would be added to these other three. The Ender Staff Grappling Hook, which is crafted with the Ender Staff Grappling Hook upgrade, which is crafted with the base Grappling Hook upgrade and one Ender Staff. Ender Staff is crafted with one Ender Pearl and one Piston. Very simple, very easy. You can get it very early game. And this Grappling Hook acts basically the same as a standard Grappling Hook, except when you left click, it gives you one small boost of momentum, which you don't even need to swim to, to swing to get it. You, you can just look and, and left click, and I'm going to do that so you can see. And I get a little bit of a jump. So if I were to jump and then swing and then jump again, I get a little bit of momentum. And I can just keep doing that and keep getting momentum and just continually keep swinging. And it's extremely useful. The other grappling hook is the smart motor, which the smart motor is slightly different than the standard motor. The smart motor, you can right click and, and hit a wall and it'll get pulled to it. But if you're looking in a a different direction you can kind of go away from the the hook like you can you can kind of go and as long as you have the wall hooked you can kind of just jump around and, and go around as long as it's hooked another fun and wacky hook is the magnet hook which if you hit a surface you will just automatically be pushed away from that surface so say i were to hit the ground i would just be pushed away from the ground so if i were to try and use this while swinging in the air I would just wouldn't be able to get anywhere near my hook. Like, I'm holding W and going towards the building, and it's just pushing me away from the building. Then there's the dual hook. The last two are dual hooks, and they're a little bit different than the standard hooks that I, I previously showed. If you look at the top, you can see three different crosshairs that showed up, and by right-clicking with the, the grappling hook, it shoots the grappling hook towards those crosshairs. But they're affected by gravity, of course. But the thing is, these grappling hooks are a lot more complicated to use. And in your controls, you can see that there's controls that let you use both the left or right hook, if you so desire to. I don't think it's as worth it. I think it's much simpler just to use one of the, one of these hooks. But if you were to just right click with the dual hooks in your hand, and you had stuff on both sides, you can just kind of swing or just kind of pull yourself through the city. These are basically all of the hooks. So now I'm going to show you guys what I believe is the best possible setup for doing any type of fast travel in the game using grappling hooks. What I believe the best grappling hooks are, are a customized rocket grappling hook and a customized motor grappling hook. So I increased the rope length, the speed, and I added like more rocket fuel and rocket time for the, the rocket grappling hook. And for the motorized grappling hook, I increased the throw speed a lot. So it's basically instant. And I increased the rope length so I can shoot it insanely far. 
look at that distance. It goes so far that it basically just disappears. And also, for the longfall boots, there are three new enchantments that are added to the game. These are wall running, double jump, and sliding. And you can get all these from, from an enchantment table or an ant or like chests, I'm pretty sure. So these enchantments are pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Double jump, you can basically press space and jump twice as high. Wall running, you can like run against a, a side surface and jump against it and kind of and kind of wall run like that. Okay, it's not really doing as it's not really showing it as there it is. Wall running. Wall running. Yes. Yep, so wall running basically you can just run against surfaces and it, it's pretty cool and it's basically the same as like Titanfall Black Ops 3 and it's awesome. The other enchantment is sliding, which sliding if you generate momentum from from swinging around then what you can do is you can just I'm going to go ahead and try and generate some momentum except it's really hard to swing for some reason. All right. I did you generate momentum? And I'm going to slide in that direction. In order to slide, you need to generate momentum and then hold left shift as you land. Okay, I glitch. That's not fair. This is the one. All right, I got momentum. Why is it doing that? Okay, that's not fair. I'm just going to use the rocket and see if I can slide from there. All right, here. Rocket. There we go, I'm sliding. All right, so I don't know why it wasn't working for me for so long, but just if you get momentum and then just hold left shift, okay, it, it, my shift key is broken, then you will just be able to keep your, your momentum going and you might be able to even slide out of it if you're, you're skilled enough with it. I'm just going to see how swinging around the city goes with these two grappling hooks that I see to be as the best and the long fall boots that give me double jumping and wall running and sliding, of course. So here we go. And I'm just swinging around the city, use my rocket. Okay, that was terrible. All right, here we go. Actual swinging around now. And I feel like a superhero. Hey, check this out. Just check this out. It look it's so it it it's as fun as it looks, trust me. Like I wanna <laughs> Yes. I'm sp I'm basically Spider-Man. Like come on, look at this. I'm gonna use the, the grappling Yes, wall run. Nope. Okay. I keep running into buildings. If there was actual collision physics in this mod, I would basically be dead. Raw run, yes. Concentrating really hard. Why am I so bad at this? I swear I'm a lot better at this when I'm not recording. All right, swing, momentum, a little bit of a boost right there. Throw the hook, swing, boost. Throw the hook, swing, boost, over the building. See, if you're skilled at this, you can basically just swing around a city. And it's a lot of fun. Like, when preparing for this video, I've caught myself just grabbing these two hooks and just swinging around. And it, it's a great method of fast travel. And it's it all these hooks are extremely easy to craft. There isn't really much left for me to show off. I basically just I gotta find where I actually oh, is that my stuff? Yep, that's my stuff. But now that I showed you guys my personal preference for the grappling hooks, I wanted to show you guys how you can make your own custom grappling hooks for your own preference. So if you have all the items already right-clicked into your, your hook modifier, you can right-click it, and you can click any of these and change whatever you want. Say, for my, my standard grappling hook, say I wanted to make the rope length ridiculously long, and instead of making it a sticky rope that makes it so that it wraps around stuff when I swing, I wanted to make it a phase rope so I, could, I wouldn't have to worry about that and say I wanted to increase my swing speed to ridiculous. And I, I'm going to add an ender staff. Great. So now I, I added those and I'm going to right click and boom, I have my own custom grappling hook. And you can see all the customizations that you make right here, everything that makes it different from other grappling hooks just by holding left control. And I'm going to see how it works. So, oh, okay. So I don't have my motor anymore because I added the, the staff. I'm going to shoot it. 
Okay, I gotta add, I gotta change the speed a little bit. I gotta I gotta make it a little bit faster. Throw speed. I'm gonna make it by I'm gonna make it five. Yeah, screw it. Okay, that's really fast. Okay. But what else can I do? I'm gonna put the hook. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make it i I'm just gonna put everything on the on this hook. Just everything so you guys can see what it what it can do. How is this gonna work? Alright. I have there's literally everything on this grappling hook now if i grapple i should be able to swing but at the same time it should pull me to it but at the same time it should push me away from it but at the same time it should give me a rocket and at the same time i'll get a boost okay that that's a, a very interesting and useful hook from the sound of it so here i go and i'm going and let me guess so i can't i can't touch that because of the magnet i can't i can go around because of the smart motor so i can use the ender staff and the motor to get a boost. And it's extremely inaccurate because it's two hooks. Yeah, that was kind of pointless. This is a useless hook. I would die over and over again just from, for, just from failing to use this because it's so inaccurate. The only thing that I haven't touched on yet is this magnetic force field, which is used to craft the, the force field grappling hook upgrade. And before I talk about this magnetic force field, I just want to tell you guys, if you enjoyed watching the video, make sure to like and subscribe because it really means a lot to me and I really appreciate the support because I'm just starting out and it means a lot. So the magnetic force field is a pretty interesting item. So if you right click, you are basically pushed away from every single block in the vicinity. So if you right click, you are basically just just floating. Like I can't run into this building. Like I'm, I'm holding W. And I'm trying to touch this building and it, it's just it, it keeps pushing me away but if you're running around and bouncing up and down from blocks like this you can hold shift and it kind of stabilizes you in the air after a few seconds and also when you're using this mag magnetic force field you can run extremely fast and like ridiculously fast like what okay like you don't even need the grappling hooks for fast okay I'm going whoa 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 okay I'm just gonna keep running I'm gonna super flat Look at how fast I'm through. Whoa, 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 holy whoa. I'm, I'm literally going like a hundred blocks a second. What the heck? What is going on? What? <laughs> I'm, I'm taking damage, but I'm literally going like, I'm 5,000 blocks away from the city. I've been going for like a, a few set of like, a few seconds. What? 6,000? 7,000? Okay. I think this is basically the end of the video now. So, thank you guys for watching. And you can't even see me. You can't even see me because I'm literally going so fast. Look at the clouds. That's how quick I'm going. That, that, like, I'm, I'm going a thousand blocks a second. Look at how, I'm just accelerating. Now I'm, I'm my game is going to break. My game is going to break. Okay, I, I'm in the void. I am negative 1,700 blocks. Okay, now I'm back above. What the heck is going on? I don't know what's going on. All right, I'm gonna end the video. Wait, did my game break? Nope, it did not. It is, it's just extremely laggy. I'm 100, I'm two negative, okay. I'm 200,000 blocks away from the city. 300,000 blocks away. In conclusion, if you wanna travel fast with the grappling hook mod, don't bother with the grappling hooks. All you need is the, the force field. See you guys in the next video and thank you for watching. Bye.